Welcome back to the second instalment of my diary piece. And as you can see from behind, we are back on the island for not my last trip. I thought this was gonna be my last trip, but it's not. This is my second to last trip and gonna be having a bit of a social with Laney on this trip. And I've come obviously straight back into Vipers where I'd have my bites from last time out of here. And no sooner have I been in the swim, one show just out in front here. So instead of waffling to this camera, really, I should be chucking a rod at that, which I'm gonna do right now. So welcome to episode two. So we catch on straight away. drop nice happy days back to the bank sweet fishing within minutes that's what we like sorted right we are fishing so yeah I've just quickly whacked a pb out there although i caught obviously on my milky malts and that but the pbs are the first thing i grabbed and they smelt bloody lovely, so I just thought, quickly whack a PB out there. I'll, I'll whack another rod out as well on a milky malt. But yeah, at the minute, we've got rods in the water, but we've got no bloody net set up. Bad angle in that. I was always taught, first thing you set up, your net. <laughs> and I thought, oh, bloody hell quick. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? But that'd bust off. Bad angling, Lee, bad angling. Put your net up first. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to that just bust off within minutes of being in the swim? God, that would be bloody lovely. It would, it would be nice. Right, we'll stick you there for a the minute. Let's get rid of this branch that was about in the water. Let's chuck that over there. Right, um, okay, let's get another rod ready to rumble. We'll do the same thing. So, where's that line pointing? Oh, it's on the money, that. That is on the money. And we'll whack another one out there, I think. There they are, there they are. Oh, what size should I use? If in doubt, chuck a milky out. If you're in doubt, chuck a milky malt out. Excuse the lighter. Mrs. bought it. Present. <laughs> Come on, drop well. Oh, that was a lovely drop. Oh, you naughty, naughty. Very naughty. Happy days, right? Two rods fishing. We're rolling. Absolutely sheep Dave up as well by getting here at first light. I'm like, what time are you getting here, Dave? When I wake up. I thought I know what that means. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've got here uh, early doors. I was up at 4 a.m. as well. Oh, there's one right out the back there just seen one miles out past the bloody boy that was a big splash as well bloody hell hmm well 
I'm not going to set up, I'm just going to obviously get a couple of singles out in the pond because that's what worked for me well last week and then we'll assess the situation from there how about that for a bit of parking eh tell I've not done this before <laughs> yeah that was a big big splash right out the back there but the thing is there's another geezer on Rick who um he turned up just after me so he's over at the boat launch at the minute loading his boat so hopefully he doesn't come this end of the pond <laughs> well, no, I think he will so yeah I'm just gonna now sit here I've got two rods in the pond now anyway so I'll just have them two out for the minute and just keep an eye on the water really like I said I've just seen just seen one right out the back as I was coming back with that rod that I cast just out in front here so we'll keep an eye on that and if they start showing long hopefully me man who's turning up doesn't see them which he might do and then that might force me and but you know there's fish here I've seen one so at the moment and now another one a long long way away so this is where I caught from last time Let's hope lightning strikes twice, eh? Come on, the giant, the one more giant. We have a poacher in the swim. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's him! <laughs> so yeah, we've, uh, morning's not really set the world on fire, to be honest, other than, obviously I saw that one just out here this morning. And it seems like the, the shows are a bit longer now, so I still haven't got my left hand rod out. So there's an area out, like there's a hump out towards that pylon sort of zone. So I've sort of got in between that and, and out towards the boy here. So I'm gonna take one out long to the left hand side of that boy and probably put one out there and then maybe find a couple of spots for these. But yeah, I was hoping, hoping to have seen a few more to be honest, but yeah, it's one of them, but we'll see what happens. It feels good for it, to be honest. Pressure's nice and low, which is ideal, but the pressure's going to be getting worse and worse as the trip goes on. So, you know, one of them, but let's hope there's a couple of bites in, in it for us, either for me or himself. But if not, we'll drink plenty of beer and uh, have a bloody good, jolly old good time. So uh, I've got half a cow with me. Dave's got half a chicken farm, so... What more could you want? And I've got big um, blue cheese and garlic mushrooms. Oh yeah, the mushrooms. Yeah, I yeah, forgot about that. Dave's speciality. Corn on the cob. So, yeah, uh, the day's drifted past and not a lot's happened, to be honest. So I'm going to head off out here and find some zones. That's where I had my bites from, out to the right of that boy last time. I just want to get sorted. I've got three nights here, so you know, I want to make sure that I'm on spots out here. So I'm basically just keeping an eye on this echo. I've nicked Dave's prodder as well, so I've got a prodding pole with me. So, yeah, I'll have a little prod about out here and find something, something nice to try and fish to. But yeah, they like coming here in the mornings. <sighs> right, so I'm just gonna spray a few bugs around here so there's not a lot out here to be honest so i'm just gonna a few handfuls of 12 mil bugs not too many just spray them about the place like so yeah, again bosh nice Cheers, me dears. There's a whole lot of nothing out there until you get oh, right man, out there. Man. And it comes up to 15.9 yeah. and then drops back down into 17 and a half again. So I said, like, right, about well, 15 you were, I do. Spot on with the. Um, that the that popular, yeah? You were literally in the middle of the trunk. Oh, right, ideal. Happy days. Oh, I'll get that for a dinner. Tiny special. We got. Blue cheese mushroom, proper bit of sweet corn. Look at them thighs. Oh, 
Lovely jubbly. And a doom bar to go down. <laughs> Happy days. Right then, we are on the move, a pair of us, not seen nothing. Been up since half six this morning, well day's been up since half six, I got up at half seven, uh, lazy, I know. And I've not seen anything, like why? Yesterday we probably saw 10, today none. So we just can't sit here and fish for fish that probably aren't here. So, We've had a southwesterly come in now. It was a north, northwest, northeasterly or something like that. It was blowing that way. And um, it's now southwesterly, blowing up the other end of the pond. Fish aren't jumping or showing us that they're here anymore. So you'd like to think that they're somewhere up the other end. So that's what we're doing. Me and Davey's in the background there. Look, both on the move. Dave's gonna go into butchers. I'm gonna go into all alone and do you know what i don't think i've ever banked a fish in that all alone i've fished it a couple of times and lost everything that i've hooked in there so it's a great start you know great swim to go to i guess but anyway you know maybe i can redeem myself by getting in that swim and hopefully getting one last fish out of what's going to be my second to last trip on here i guess so we've got next week left and that is it so if we can salvage this trip with one carp then we'll be very very happy men so um no doubt dave will smack him out of butchers he knows the swim well he's caught i remember the last time i think i photographed the fish for him in there would have been the lever which was a giant mid 40 absolute belter of a fish so anyway right on the move onwards and upwards and all that jazz so we bloody get one one ready to rock and roll. Right, here we go. Probably shallow, but there we go. Here we are in all alone. So bye. This is us. So yeah, I've just dropped this, this one just to the left of the pole on the end of them reeds out there. So no need to fish Bray. I'm not near the snags or anything like that. I'm not gonna be fishing into the snags. So yeah, just drop that hinge with a PB out there. And I don't know, 10, 10 bugs over the top, something like that, 10, 12 mil bugs over the top. And that's, that rod done it's the only rod that i'm going to boat out there because the other two the guy next door has told me about a spot that he's done well from in here because obviously i'm leaving in a couple of weeks he's like you know there's a good really good spot there and, and showed me where it is sort of out in the pond here i won't obviously give away exactly where it is because it's his spot but yeah it was kind of him to uh to tell me what the score is in here because I don't really know the swim that well. Whenever I've fished in here, I've always fished them snags over there. So, so yeah, that was kind of him. That's all right, I've got one rod in the pond already. And then, like I say, I'm gonna just cast the other two sort of out here somewhere or other. Again, like I said, I won't tell you exactly where. <laughs> right, let's get me alarms. Let's get sorted. Well, that didn't take long. Dropped that rod out there. Just about got the bivvy up. And it's busted off. So I'm gonna to have to take to the boat because he's going hard left. And, oh, and, uh, matey next door I don't want to wipe him out obviously so where's me 
bloody life jackets up there, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's going hard left. Come on, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I've not even had the chance to obviously unload the boat yet, so man, this is bloody ideal. man next door but yeah hopefully I don't end up wiping one of his out I could do without that in a minute gone in there mate no he's ran in shit Rick where's your left hand right he's ran in there mate Hey! Shit! I... Wow! Well, look, can you see me line? Right, he's coming. He's coming. Hopefully, I don't pick you up. Right. Yeah, he's come away. Try and pull him away. Oh, well, I think I've got him away from me man next door, thank God. now back in front of my swim which is ideal so right luckily I've got no other rods out either so right. oh we're playing one boat battle jobby ideal cool yeah that is a good one Oh, that is a real good one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Get in there. <laughs> He's a lovely one. God. <laughs> that is a belter. God, that will bloody do. God, yeah. Lovely linear. Oh, look at him, man. <laughs> God, happy bloody days. Oh, that will definitely do. God, God I can't believe it. Well, I saw him all the old, the old, old, old PB in his chops, bottom lip jobby. Happy bloody days. God, he is nailed. Right, I ain't unhooking that, it's proper nail days. Oh, I'm absolutely bloody buzzing. Right, I was just handling that. Yes, good enough. <laughs> What's that do, Dave? One rod ripped off straight away. Unbelievable, yeah, unreal. He's an absolute lovely one as well, mate. 
cheers, mate. Thank you. There we go. Got him, got him, got him. Happy days. Oh, look at him. Oh, now, in it. <laughs> oh, look at that. No, to be honest, I haven't. Have you seen that one before? I can't say I have either. <laughs> Not that I need to. <laughs> oh wow, unbelievable. Oh, I can't believe it. God, 39 pounder. Happy days, look at that. For a cup. Well, I said I wanted a giant out of the island before it all ended, and that is indeed a giant. <laughs> Oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have moved if Dave wasn't here, but because he was moving, I thought I'd better follow suit, and I'm so glad that I did. Look at that, 39 pounds, 11 ounces of Island Giant, and what an absolute corker. One that we've never seen before, really. I've never seen photos of this one, and that will definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a giant, yes! Oh, well, that was a turn up for the books, wasn't it? Unbelievable, just sort of coming into this well, sort of made my mind up what I was gonna do before I moved and yeah, just boated straight over there with that hingy that I'd had out in Vipers because it's a bit, it's a bit rubbish out there. I didn't really wanna fish the snags when I come into all alone and um because obviously i've got my casting rods i have got my braided rods and all that but i just didn't feel like fishing the snags was the one so yeah i decided to obviously drop that hingey with the pb on it to the left of that part <sighs> second time round, bloody gopro batteries died even though i put it on charge for some reason it's not charged so now i'm having to hold a bloody power pack with a boxing gopro in the end anyway we're buzzing that was a bloody turn up for the books, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Um, just put that fish back. I've got the other two rods out now. I've put them out on a spot, like I said, with the guy next door that told me about sort of thing. It's done him well in the past. Because I don't know the swim at all. So any help that you, you can get is obviously good help, of course. And uh, yeah, just, I don't know, catching that absolute giant out the blue was... Um, was much needed definitely after seeing all them in vipers yesterday with laney and like what we saw 10 10 odd fish something like that out there i really thought we were going to get one today so I'm, I'm glad he's here and i'm glad that we moved because i would have probably sat it out out there because i'd obviously got them bites the last time i was here which you would have seen on the other diary then I probably would have sat it out for at least another four, well, at least another 24 hours. I've got 48 hours of the trip left, so I'm glad that I've moved. Catching that one on the PB pop up on the NG that I was using, obviously out in Vipers. Just wow, it's just unreal. I was gonna, I contemplated fishing the snags in all alone, but I just think that you always get small ones if you if you end up fishing fishing in the snags so that's why I thought no I'm gonna fish away from the snags use me in G me on me mono rod and we've got one so as the next plane turns over anyway Laney's uh ended up being roped into sorting out the food that I was meant to be sorting out this evening so I need to go and help him out with that uh we've got a dirty great slab of beef to be cooked I need to get the cob on the go so instead of lumbering in with the food for for another night I better sort myself out and um go and cook for this evening because it's my bloody turn so anyway right just absolutely elated that I've I've, I've had the one that I wanted I've had the giant 
and uh, yeah if nothing else happens for then this trip or next trip I don't care because that was an absolute worldie one I've never seen before as well I've never ever seen that one in here before so yeah amazing amazing carp near 40 pounder that is a giant that is a giant I've just Cheshire cat me <laughs> I'm real <laughs> is that the expression who knows sounded good anyway right let's go and get some food sorted <laughs> I decided to bring a little steak for <laughs> for dinner tonight. <laughs> Look at the size of it. How thick it is. I don't know how we're going to make an impression on it with, with this. <laughs> <laughs> that is a proper bit of beef. You saying? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Let me add it. Nice. Corn and the cobs and a bit of the old green stuff. Bang it, they worried about the green shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, left hander has gone again. Happy days. So, nothing through the night. Early morning. Well, it's not early anymore. It's actually, um, what is the time? About 10, 11 o'clock, something like that. And that rod's busted off, so that'll be days of switching back on. Right, let's get out there. Go and get him. Spin the old boat round. Oh, great buzz. Great buzz. No better feeling playing a carp in a boat. Oh, see that giant just jump right there, look. Look, and again, God, that's a big carp, that. That is a big one. Proper. Cool, wow. I'm going to try and keep him away from there if I can. God, there's a big old back on him. Hello. He's got a proper cool dorsal on him. Dark one. Oh, he's lovely, him. Look at him. Oh, yes. Lovely, jubbly. Cool. That is a belter. Cool. That is a nice carp. Look at him. Look at that for a carp. That is an absolute worldie. Oh wow, them PB's doing the do. And uh, I've got two out there now, being greedy. Why not? There, there's fish out there. Obviously we saw that giant jump when I was playing this one. And um, yeah, got to put two out there and be a bit greedy, haven't you, of course. And this one went 29 pounds. And phew, what a carp it is, I'm sure you'd all agree. Right, let's uh, spin him round because he's just as bloody gorgeous the other side. Look at that. What a bloody carp. <laughs> that will do. Oh, wow. It's all coming to the end in the right way. By catching carps. Lovely. <laughs> it's amazing how dark they are considering how murky the water is. He's lovely. 
Thank you very much. Oh, hey, pig. <laughs> <laughs> Well, unfortunately, no more bikes, weirdly. Well, I say weirdly, I now know that after I reeled in the rods, why? I've actually been crayed on one of them, so I was fishing a hingy zig on that one that I put out in the middle of the poles, and then the other one had a dirty great leech on the hook bait, like a massive one as well. So I had one fishing right up in the air and one fishing down. Is what it is, I guess. I feel like if they'd have been fishing properly, I would have had one, because Dave moved into the sailing club in the end and he had a couple like fishing like a similar area. So only small ones, but you know, nice for him to get a couple of bites because that was his very last trip on here. So one more trip to go, get back here next week. So looking forward to it. What a trip this one's been, absolutely bloody loved it. Good social with Laney as well. So yeah, it was all happy days. So right, we'll see you when we're back. Guess who's back? Back again. I ain't gonna bother. Right, we are back on the island then for the very last voyage, very last trip, very last boat load, all of that jazz. So, Gav, who's in the sailing club at the minute, which is just over my right hand shoulder here, he has just had five i think last night and he's like mate you gotta get into all the lanes bloody good angler it's, he knows the what he knows the lake well and yeah it seems like the fish haven't really left that shallow zone from when we were here last and we had them absolute worldy so you know straight to all alone i feel at least for a night uh, at the very least and uh yeah get up on that shallow water with the hinges and all that jazz plus i put a bit of baiting on the spot in front of the swim so sort of a bit of a pre-baiting thing on the go in that swim the fact that the fish have been booming out there all night gav said he's been up pretty much most of the night and they've just been showing like crazy in front of these reeds so you got you got to go with that haven't you so that's where we're going straight back into all alone back into me warm nest from the last trip now someone did move in move in there straight after me and he blanked but i'm hearing that he's put too much bait out and that's why he's blank so you know one of them it's just a case of fishing inges i feel this time of year scattering of bugs around it jobs are good and nice easy fishing we hope um it all sounds good doesn't it when you're when you're thinking like that but honestly i swear to god if the next venue i fish if there's a plane I'm gonna lose my mind, I swear to God. I have had enough of these poxing planes. Ugh. Try not to whinge too much this session, Lee. Anyway, right, we're halfway across the pond and we are bloody looking forward to it. Let's go. Right then, first rod ready to go. So, just gonna, this is where that fish showed last time I was here, like in this area here. So, same procedure, old hingy. This time though, I'm using a 15 mil pop-up, PB pop-up instead of the 18 mil as I was using because of obviously the craze taking a putty off. So there's no putty on this rig, so that will do right so it's just up on this shallow shelf that's here i'm gonna have a donk round so you see it's nice and shallow I'm sure the rig's coming back sweet yeah he's coming back sweet right so let's uh lie him down um bump nice right a few bugs over the area so we'll use a line to as a marker just a few 12 mil bugs in the zone there we go nice easy fishing Uh, 
Okay then, rods are now finally salted. So yeah, all three out there. Ended up fishing that spot again. That spot is rock hard out there. Um, something's definitely fed on it, but whether it's the birds or not, because the birds were trying to whammer me last week fishing that area out in front. So I've only chucked a couple of spots. Spoms? Spots? No, somewhere in between spot and spawn that was. Um, yeah, over the top, only a couple, just some bug crumbed up and 12 millers as well. So yeah, like two spoms worth out there with some of this new amino bait smoke that we've got, which smells absolutely bloody gorgeous and looks really wicked in the water as well. I put a little bit on the platform and it looks the one. It's just one of them liquids that you smell and think, oh my God, here we go. Yeah, that's going to be used a lot in my fishing this year, without a shadow of a doubt. There's another poxing plane comes over. They're proper relentless at the minute. Bloody things. God. Three more nights to go, Lee. Swear to God, the first thing I do when I get a new ticket, because I haven't even sorted out a new ticket yet, but the minute I get it, the first thing I'm going to ask is, is there any bloody plane flight paths near the pond? Or trains. Oh God, the bloody trains. A train here is a nightmare as well. It always has to lean on its bloody horn because there's some sort of crossing over there and that. Oh, it's painful, honestly. Planes and trains kill me now. You should never dig any lakes near bloody planes or trains, ever. Stop doing that. Right, run over. Uh, yeah, Rod sorted out, wrapped it back up back out on the spot and like I say a couple of spums over the top lovely jubbly just used a milky malt on that one where obviously I did well out on vipers on the last diary still using the milky malts but yeah them yellow ones like in the shallow water I just find that I like using them pbs and that you know and it's always done me good in the past as well it just seems like the fish are loving the shallow water at the minute obviously Gav he was fishing out towards the similar rate. Well, it's the same reed bed, but it's about 100 yards long. He was fishing the other end. Reckons they were booming out all night. He's had five bites as well. Some lad um, who I think was on Vipers, I pulled a swervy really. I think he probably went on Vipers because I posted up my stories and me catching a few out of there. And within, I don't know, half an hour, someone turned up and then boated straight into Vipers when I was fishing for him in shallow water in all alone sort of thing and i don't think he caught anything out there and then moved into snags too apparently fish the shallow water and add five in a day or something mad like that so you know that is where they're living at the moment is definitely in the shallow so nice easy fishing you know dropped a few baits out there the spot that i'm fishing as well out in front is nine foot you know so i've got two in the shallows one in this nine foot. I want to just keep obviously fishing that zone which I've been spawning and casting to just to um you know fish on the pre-baited area that from last week that might might be that rod that does me one bite but could be you know one of the one of the 18 you know roids or bloody Mike's pet. Oh, it's just started to bloody rain again which is a pain in the ass. I say bloody a lot don't I? I need to I need to knock that one on the head bloody. I've got to stop all that. Um bloody hell right <laughs> next time this is on will be when we're lent into a carp hopefully hopefully one o'clock that seems to be the bite time so fingers crossed we get a one o'clocker one o'clocker wow morning or is it? it just feels like the lake switched off very odd it's just something doesn't feel the same anymore I've seen a couple late last night but like right out in front of me well one out to the right hand side here not a million miles off me right hand rod and then one out to the left not a million miles off me left hand rod and then I spoke to the lad that's sort of the other side of this island here in the channel and he said he stood out on butchers and he was seeing them out, out, out there till gone midnight so I went to bed about 10 o'clock last night I was shattered and um yeah he said that they were booming out there you know, like he reckons he had about six or seven out there so why haven't I had one? Just feels like it's sort of switched off a little bit, you know? 
So I think I need to make a bit of a change. I'm gonna, gonna get the middle rod in. I've noticed out there there's not much weed about, so I've tied up a D-rig with a little bit of plastic corn on it, and I might just two dash in, two handfuls of corn over the top of that D-rig still fish me hingy out where I obviously had a couple of bites on the left hand side of that pole but up on that shelf a couple of handfuls of corn over the top might be the difference you know rather than them big blatant sort of hinges with bright ones on top perhaps something hard on the deck because there's not a lot of weed about is what I'm thinking so I've got to do something to change it up a bit maybe top this spot up that spot up with the spawn yeah I'll make a little bit more spot mix up just a few crushed up bugs and some 15 millers out there put just top the spot up a little bit i've had the birds dive on it a couple of times so that's where we're at at the minute yeah i'm surprised that something's not happened to be honest so i just feel like just gotta make a little bit of a change to see if that makes a difference you know Ah, well, that's the end of that then. No fish this trip on the last ever trip. Gutted, absolutely gutted. But I can't complain with that linear that I had last week. Absolute mega, mega one. You know, I'm, wow, just so lucky to have caught that right at the death. So, yeah, that is me done on the island. Now, I'm not renewing my ticket, as you've probably well know by now, uh, as I've probably mentioned it more than I should have. And I've got nowhere else to fish either. So, a bit of a stupid move, really. I want to fish for a big common. So, this bit of a plea deal, really, is if there's anyone that's got waterside trips this year and you fancy inviting me along, I would love to come on any of your waterside trips. And if any of you know of a giant common swimming around, preferably in about, I don't know, an acre of water, somewhere nice and easy to fish for a giant common, then, um, then hit me up. I am not gonna miss them things, let me tell you. I was just chatting to one of the other lads and like, this is probably one of the best lakes I've ever fished. It's just in the wrong area. Them planes are a pain in the arse. Massive pain in the arse. And that train up the back every hour as well. It's just, it's painful. I'm not going to miss them, but I'm really going to miss the fishing because the fishing has been absolutely amazing. So who knows where we're going to be next time we do one of these diaries. I am going to have a bit of a break from it because next week I've got filming with Fox and then I'm away for two and a half weeks abroad on a mental adventure. So, which again will be on YouTube at some point. So who knows when the next diary is going to be. Hopefully you've enjoyed this second diary piece. And like I say, any giant comments swimming around, any tickets that might be going? Just drop us a message will you please <laughs> right somehow i've got to get all this kit into that van with the boat and all that jazz i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'll squeeze it in somehow or other till next time <laughs>